So, there's a rumor out there that Mama Duck got paws put on her because Mama Duck name is Trendy and people want to make up stories about it. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set y'all up in such a way that when I'm done with this, y'all going to be pissed off and y'all going to be happy at the same time. Y'all ready? Let's go. It's your favorite local, especially after I spoke. Support the real again. Get rid of the fake, the F you to the industry. How do you fight back? It's simple. All you got to do is just press subscribe to join the movement over there on Instagram at C-E-D-D-Y-N-A-S-H, one word. That's where you and I can stay in contact, plus I'm going to personally follow you back, like your pictures and all that. To the crew, that's the truth. We're with the visionaries. So this the thing, right? And we just going we just going to get straight into it. You have a bevy of people who want to make a mark on YouTube. And the most trendiest thing, regardless of whatever anybody says, is to talk about anything that got a semblance of FBG Duck, Lil Dirt, or anything that got anything to do with O Block. That's just the truth of the matter. Right? So you'll get people like me who talk about it. I'm obviously from California. But you're talking to somebody who actually be in Chicago. I don't just, we didn't already, a bunch of videos, all of that shit and everything like that. But the thing is, is everybody's trying to create their buzz and their niche and their YouTube channel and everything like that. And before you get on here, whomever you may be, because there's going to be somebody who talk about, well, bro, you're not from Chicago. You can't talk about Chicago. You're not even from Illinois, so don't talk about anything Illinois. I just want you to go to your favorite people that are so-called bloggers, because I don't consider myself that, and I want you to go look at their older videos and see the places in which they were talking about that they've never been to. And then, because I had to go do the research, and then I want you to get on their case. I want you to go to all that stuff and tell them delete all that shit. Okay, now, once you do that, then we good. Other than that, sit back, shut up, enjoy what I'm about to say. I don't get on here acting tough. I don't get on here acting gangster. I don't get on here doing none of that. I just give you my spiel and everything like that because I've been in it for a little bit. All right. And on the 30th, we'll be celebrating a full year of me posting videos to my page. And I got some in store for people. Also, I think we're going to do another giveaway at 100 thousand subscribers i don't know just yet i'll figure it out because <laughs> it's crazy trying to get your hands on a system i'm thinking like i'm gonna have to go in the store and buy like two or three of them and just do it that way but either way that goes <clears throat> you have to be aware of what's going on right the clickbait error is upon us but the clickbait error also gives you a dislike button now, granted, you can't see it anymore or anything like that. And typically, people going to like who they agree with. It doesn't matter what they do. It, it truly doesn't. There was the greatest line I've ever heard. Well, one of the greatest lines. One of the greatest lines I ever heard, because it was one of the most truthful, was when Donald Trump said, I could stand on Fifth Avenue and shoot somebody, and people still going to vote for me. Just think of how indiscriminate that sound. Just think about that. He, it, it, he didn't say... He just said somebody. That means it could have been a child. It could have been a, a pregnant woman. It could have been anybody. It could have even been a cop. Think of how powerful that statement is that they just cheered it on. Now, this ain't no political post or anything like that. I just found that specific statement to be massively powerful. Now, what we're going to do is simple. We just going, if you feel that you need to watch a video like that to see that you might have come up on something and everything like that, nobody with any type of mind can tell you that you're wrong. Nobody. But what I would warn you, what I would caution you about, is if you do that, if it's fake, dislike it. That's all. Don't comment on it because if you comment on it, you're going to mess it up and put it in the algorithms. Just dislike it. That's it. That's how you, you know, that's how you fight back. Yeah, that's how you do it. Just dislike it. So I told you, I'm going to piss y'all off. Because, yeah, y'all fall for the clickbait. But 
I'm gonna understand the person a little bit of how this YouTube stuff go. I fully don't understand it all the way. Because at one point they lift the shadow bed up, and then another one they drop it. So, I mean they put it back on. So I don't, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't know. But we going live tonight. Ah, ten o'clock Eastern, seven o'clock West Coast time, nine o'clock Central. That's for Dallas and Chicago and all that. And eight o'clock for Mountain Time and everything. If you're in New Mexico or Colorado. You know, shout out to Denver and everything like that. Y'all get the prime time spot, 8 o'clock. That's actually kind of dope. So shout out to y'all. But we'll do it. We'll catch y'all up. And I'll see y'all there. Sound good? All right, later. Y'all expect me to keep it real? Because you know that I will. I do this daily, baby. Check out the Nightly Nash podcast. Also, Street the Music, Setty Nash, if you have not. It's on all streaming platforms. Guaranteed you're going to find something you like. Probably like that overly thugging freestyle. Or maybe something different let me know in the comments we possibly shoot that music video